Hi everyone, it's Terry from Terry Scrapbooks and this is my Renee Bouquet's design team project for August. I called it my Gibson Girl Scrapbook Mini Album because I use these images of the Gibson Girls throughout the album and I got them from Southern Blackberry Designs. I found them online one day when I was looking for printed images and I just fell in love with them. But it was a long time ago, a couple years I'd say. So I don't know if you can find them anymore. And I used, I came across this paper, Paperricious Gray Bloom Premium Collection and I just fell in love with it so I had to use it. Um, so they were new to me. They come from India. I just loved, loved the colors and the patterns together. Loved the roses. Okay, now on to the cover. I used as my focal this Blue Fern Studios laser cut chipboard courtship violin where Naval K's carries those and I also I painted it um, and then glittered it with Renee Bouquet's chunky glitter glass in diamond with a little bit of chunky glitter glass in pale pink sprinkled throughout there too so the whole thing is covered with the glitter glass and then I used some micro beads along just this edge a little bit, some silver Renee Bouquet's micro beads on the side there. And this is Renee Bouquet's Fairy Dust Glitter Glass Butterflies. I just love that pink. And it's all covered with the glitter glass. And two of them. These are just acrylic crystals in red. This is an old vintage bracelet that I framed around this image. Some fabric flowers from my stash, an old earring from my stash. These are petaloo flowers here. There's some eyelash trim under here along with some bead trim with different colored, different sized beads on it underneath there. It pokes out here and there. This is Renee's large glamorous rhinestone button. And this is Renee's flower, white chiffon pearl and rhinestone fabric flowers. You can get those in sets of three. And this I made this cover especially so that I could use Renee's Victorian Tarnished Brass Latch. It's very cool. See it opens with a little latch on top. And then it also opens like this. But first I want to show you the corners of the album. I use this really pretty lace for Renee Bouquet's two inch wide rose crowned lace. There's roses, groups of roses in there. It went really well with the paper I thought. It comes down over here. So all four corners have those. This is just an applique from my stash. And another of the Gibson girls, Charles Gibson. Drew these and I bought them from Southern Blackberry Designs. Silver ribbon, just some braid silver metallic braid opens like this I don't know if you'll be able to see the whole thing but here I have a tag where you can write about anything of course but I thought I'd put it right here on the cover so you could introduce the album and what it's the pictures that are going in it it's decorated with this piece that comes from here. After I die cut this out, I save this piece and glued it on. 
So just add something pretty. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning. On the first page, this album might look familiar because I used my Mon Amour tutorial to create this pretty much. It's a little different, but it's almost the same. So this, another Gibson girl here, and I have some music charms in here to go with the violin on the cover. And this opens like this. Two small pictures there. Some ribbon. Opens like this. And you can put a picture here. And you can get a picture down in here. Put it down in. So you have a frame. And I embossed this with an Anna Griffin embossing folder. Carmen Lace. This opens like this. It has a pull-out photo mat journaling spot. Here's another Gibson girl with a little frame I made with the metallic trim. A doily behind here. Two small 4x4 photo mats and a small photo mat and journaling tag. I use some heart beads for flower centers. These are silk flowers that I just changed the flower center. Here's a waterfall. Put pictures in here. Picture here. There's a doily. Some more petal flowers and some silk flowers. This next page is a pocket. And I have some of Renee's Bridesmaids Lace here. And another one of her Fairy Dust Glitter Glass Butterfly. And this, this is a vintage look metal clip book bookmark with glass dome. You get the bookmark and then the dome and you can put whatever picture you want inside there. I found a toll paper that I had and I put that behind there. So you can take it off. I added the ribbon and the charm to it. And then you can open this up. Sort of like a handle here. And a 5 by 7 photo mat. 4 by 6 photo mat with a journal spot. And on this page, I have a envelope with some more bridesmaids lace. It opens like this with a photo mat inside, journaling spot. Another Gibson girl, and one of Renee's black chiffon pearl and rhinestone fabric flowers here. Petaloo flowers. Next page. Opens like this with the Gibson girl right there. And this opens again like this. And I put on the tie, one of Renee's vintage hand mirror charms. So pretty. It goes perfectly with the image, I think. So this opens like this with a pocket photo mat. Piece of lace from my stash, two 4x4 four four photo mats, another tag photo mat, next page, another frame where you can insert a picture down inside. This has a guitar charm right there, opens like this with two 4x4 four four photo mats and another pull out tag journaling spot, which you can put a picture here, picture here, picture here, and two photo mats inside.
in the next page. Another Gibson girl, and here's a saxophone here. Another Renee's black chiffon, pearl, and rhinestone fabric flower. This opens like this. There's two pictures here. Renee's butterfly. This pulls out. This is a Heartfelt Creations Regal Borders and Pockets die cut. Opens like this and like this with these photo mats here. Slides back in this big pocket here. And the last page is a vertical type waterfall. And doily petal loop flowers. And I showed you the tag on this side here. Oh, I have some pearls here and here, just for fun. And that's it. This album will hold 60 photos. It will be for sale on eBay. I will leave a link in the description below. And don't forget to check out Renee Bouquet's stores where you can find so many beautiful embellishments and flowers and trims and trinkets. I hope you like it and thanks so much for watching.